In today's video, I'm going to be tackling this our Bath 500. And I know what you're thinking, Dave, where are you cleaning it this time? Italy, are you cleaning it in the Alps? Are you going to be cleaning it somewhere incredibly beautiful? But no, I have to clean this car in front of portable toilets. Yes, we are back, bigger and better than ever before with this valet on the incredible Arbath 500. And this wasn't any old Arbath 500, no. This one belonged to my mother-in-law, which meant if I buggered this one up, I'd never hear the end of it until the day I die. And I would surely be left out the will, so I had my entire future at stake. And to make this video more exciting, I'm using a whole host of different luxury brands today, including two new ones to the channel. These include Pyramid Car Care and House of Detailing. Plus, I've got some of my favourites, including Yum Cars, Bear Car Care and Alien Magic. And I've also got some brand new products that have just hit the market this week, so I cannot wait to show you guys what they're truly capable of. So let's start off by taking a look at today's valeting checklist. We're going to start off by carrying out a deep clean on the wheels and the tyres, followed by a citrus pre-wash then we're going to carry it on by doing a full exterior wash and dry. After that's done, I'm going to follow it up with a hand glaze, dress the tyres, protect the alloys and also protect the glass. And moving on to the inside, I'll also be using Yum Interior for the plastics. And I'm also going to be using a brand new leather cleaner from Bear Car Care. So we've got loads of products to feature today. So grab yourself a cup of tea and a biscuit and enjoy the video. Job number one for me was giving the wheels a blast with the Karcher Expert just to shift off some of the loose dirt and living on a farm there was no shortage of horse muck. Actually having said that everywhere I looked I was surrounded by poo. You had poo in the toilets, poo on the floor and just when I thought I'd seen enough excrement for one day my brother then decided to turn up in the biggest pile of crap of all time and ruin my video. After getting wiped out by Thanos, I then got out the Yum Wheels which is a mix of a pH neutral wheel cleaner and a fallout remover and I gave the wheels a spray and I did two at a time because the weather was pretty cool, it then had plenty of time to dwell and turn purple. After the chemical was fully activated, it was time to break out the soft brushes and clean the faces. From then on I had an incredible selection of wheel willies which fitted perfectly in the tight gaps. And I had my trusty bendy brushes too which made life so much easier for someone who does this for a living on a daily basis. I really do recommend these brushes because of the amount of time that you're going to save. Those 10 to 15 minutes over a course of a month really do add up. So it's really important to invest in the right tools for the right job. And I will be listing every single product and tool used in this video in the description below. Plus, I will be featuring exclusive discount codes for the majority of brands featured in this video. For the tyres, I'm using Yum Undress because I want to remove all the contaminants from the tyres and I want to do this in one hit. So it's just a quick spray, allow to dwell and then tackle it with the Vicam brush. Job done. The wheels are always the most time consuming part of cleaning dirty cars because you need to roll the car forward slightly because no matter how good you think you are cleaning those wheels I can guarantee that as soon as you move the car forward you're going to see bits that you've missed. So get it right the first time and that will save you a lot of time in the long run. Once again on the one day that I was filming outside someone up there was watching down on me and decided to bring back all the wind. Christ. Normally by this point I'll be breaking out the TFR saying I'm going to spray the lower third of the vehicle however today I'm going to do things slightly different and what I'm going to do is spray a citrus pre-wash around the car and we're going to see how well it clings but more importantly how well it cleans. Firstly, I'm spraying the arches with a 1 to 10 mix of Bear Car Care's Citrus Pre-Wash. And my first impressions were really good, and it was plenty powerful enough to tackle all the mud inside the arches. And I know what you're thinking, where is your pump sprayer? 
And that's a very good question. And the truth is this, I was filming all my footage before I got started. I stepped backwards, I went arse over tit, I split the hose and I split my trousers. So unfortunately, I'm having to spray by hand. But here's something very valuable for you to consider. You don't actually need a pump sprayer. You can make do with a hand sprayer, albeit it's a bit of a slower method, but nevertheless, it still works. And sometimes you just gotta make do with the resources you've got. Citrus pre-wash has so many benefits. For one, you can use it on pretty much anything, provided you get your dilution rates correct. You can use it on petrol caps, wheels, tires, door shuts, interior trim, carpets. So you've got to make sure that you get your measurements right. But if you can keep on top of it, then this can be a real money saver. After the citrus pre-wash had chance to dwell, it was now time to give it a blast and as you can see, I'm spraying up. Yes, I said up, not down, and what I'm doing here is pushing the chemical up to give it more coverage over the bodywork of the car. And by the time the water has pushed its way up with the chemical, what you're going to find is the chemical to water ratio is going to be so reduced you're not actually going to be doing any harm. When it comes to the door shuts and cars like this, I just say the best thing to do is blast the heck out of it. When you look closer, you will actually see, despite the power of the pressure washer, you don't actually get the car that wet inside. Apart from a few drips, of course, but don't be afraid to give it a blast. With the weather being absolutely diabolical, can we just stop to appreciate the manliness of me working out there in a t-shirt in the middle of an ice age? With the pre-wash bits all done, I finally got the chance to try out this shampoo that I've heard so many positive things about. And this one is Ultra Shampoo, and this is by Pyramid Car Care, which fair to say was bang on point. You could definitely tell from using it that it was a classy shampoo. And it was a windy day, so it was drying very quickly. But still, I left it on to dry on the paint, and when it came to rinsing it, I didn't get any smears at all which is something you can find with other shampoos. So this one really impressed me from the start. And not to mention this shampoo actually has gloss enhancers as well. So I can see why it gets five star ratings across the board. As always, I'm using my brushes and these ones I'm using right here are from Yum Cars, which are perfect for getting in those tight areas without the risk of scratching. For the front grille, I'm using a hog hair brush from the original Woolies company who make wheel Woolies. So you know you're getting the very best and this is a very fast way of cleaning those grills safely. Now because I'm a lovely person and I love to reward anyone who watches these videos, I've managed to negotiate some incredible discounts and I can get you guys up to 20% off all orders across the board with some of these brands. So if you want to get any of these exclusive discounts then please check out the description below and I'll list exactly what discounts you're going to save with each company.
Okay, so with the car completely dry, it's now time to apply a hand glaze. And this is something I've never featured on the channel before. And this time around, I'm gonna be using a Carnuba glaze from House of Detailing. So this is House of Detailing's Carnuba glaze. And some of the benefits include no dusting, no white marks, plus it's a non-abrasive formula. And this product will last you around two months. So it's definitely something that may benefit anybody who enjoys the complete waxing process by hand. And to be honest, recently I backed off from using waxes and glazes purely because of the fact I find it quite time consuming from a business point of view. But nevertheless, it still looked amazing and I was really chuffed. Another plus side is the fact I didn't need to use a lot of the product. However... Oh for f**k's sake Pete, what the hell? Sorry. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks a lot. One of the things I was getting was a few marks in the paint, so before I buffed it off, I applied a very slightly damp towel first, then followed it up with my dry towel, which sorted it out in seconds. And that is a top tip for anybody who experiences smears on dark paintwork. And you tend to see that people who keep grabbing the dry cloths and try and buff it out get little results, but with this method, it sorts it out in seconds. So in my hand, I've got Glass Armour by Pyramid Car Care. And the great thing about this is you spray it on, you buff it off, and then it puts a hydrophobic barrier onto your glass. Now what that means is less stress on the wipers and less need to use them. Glass Armour is not something I personally use in an everyday valeting situation within my business, but it's definitely something I'm looking to bring in as an upsell. And the aim of this product isn't to compete with like their own hardcore glass coatings, but it's just to offer a quick and easy way of protecting your glass for a short term period. The product I'm spraying on the wheels right here is Alloy Armour and this is a very simple spray on wipe off formula and it's designed to reduce brake dust from forming on the wheels. And this could also make a great upsell for anyone in the trade. When it comes to cleaning the interior of your car, you tend to find that you do get bombarded with loads of different chemicals for different parts of the trim. However, this isn't really needed when you use Yum Interior. It's a special formula that's safe on all surfaces, including leather, carpets, and plastic. And this one has a eucalyptus scent, which definitely makes it smell like a hair and body shop. So in my hand, I've got the brand new leather cleaner from Bear Car Care. This one's just come out, so I've never used it before. I don't know how it's gonna perform, but you know how most people have like manky Kit Kats and air fresheners and all sorts of things lurking around underneath their seat? Well, not my family. My family have baseball bats. So the thing with leather cleaners, if you're going to clean, just sort of tidy up your general leather, you don't wanna go OTT, it is better, oh Christ. <laughs> Hell. Jesus Christ, what's in that stuff, Gange? After vibing out to Bob Marley songs and getting the munchies, I started to apply it to the leather in an even motion, and then I let it set for a bit, then I buffed it off, and it revealed a really lovely looking finish. So if you're looking for something that's just going to bring back some life into the leather, then this is something I really recommend that you try out. For the pedals, I'm trying out some pre-wash to see how it performs and as predicted, it smashed its way through the dirt and I even gave it a cheeky spray on the trim. With citrus pre-wash, you do find that it's very strong, so proper dilution needs to be done unless you want to destroy your interior of course. 
In this time lapse, you can see I'm soaking the mats with pre-wash and giving it a scrub with a fabric brush just to shift some of the dirt. And you don't honestly need a drill brush. In most cases, this way is less likely to mess up your carpet fibers as it's not as aggressive. If you haven't seen my glass cleaning video yet, then I really do urge you go check it out as I have some revolutionary methods which some of you in the industry will find game changing. So I will pop a link in the description below. Or alternatively, just go on YouTube and search Epic Car Show Glass Clean and it will take you straight to the video. And in that video, I talk about my own methods that I use to simplify glass cleaning in direct sunlight and actually end up saving you a small fortune so do go pay it a visit while you're here. With the car almost done, I thought I'd give it one more special treat. So this time around, I'm using Pyramid Car Care's Quick Detailer just to give it the edge. And these gorgeous soft towels that I'm using right here are from Alien Magic Car Care. The Quick Detailer was a nice way of finishing off the car and it didn't provide any problems with no smears and it was as simple as it gets. With the car all finished, it's now time to reveal the final results. So there you have it guys, one complete car and one completely happy mother-in-law. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and stay tuned because I've got another video coming this weekend. So it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Plus, I've got some fantastic content for you coming out. I've been away, but I've been away filming. So don't you guys worry. There is so much more coming to the channel and I'm really looking forward to it. So look, I am going to love you and leave you and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Toilet's just not a good image, is it? Unreal. We're in a lockdown. No planes whatsoever take off. When I mean none, I literally mean not one. Not one! And we live next to Gatwick. I'm filming. They're coming out in their bloody drones. Where where are they even going anyway? They can't even go off the holiday. Unbelievable. No planes. And now this.